Good day, this is Dr. Janice Dale Tadeo Portales, and here are the activities of CPSP Palawan Chapter. Last February 21, we had the graduation of our 2020 Bulilid and Teen Health Workers. A total of 63 students, 25 Bulilid and 38 Teen Health Workers completed the program. We are thankful for Dr. Benny Atienza and Dr. Martini Ventura for gracing us with their presence during the event. Also, we have already started the 2021 Bulilit and Teen Health Worker Program. These are screenshots from our Zoom Kumustahan with the heads of the four participating schools. A total of 170 students are currently enrolled in our program. The pandemic is taking its toll on everybody's mental health, especially the children and teens. With this, we launched our own YouTube channel on March 5 to show videos of family-oriented activities like those related to sports, arts, cooking, music, and health. Our contributors are doctors, friends, teens, and bullied from Palawan who are talented in their own crafts. So like and subscribe our channel and you will learn Dr. Reb's bike safety tips and a lot more. When we read to our children, we help them get to know sounds, words, and language and develop early literacy skills. But it is a challenge to read for a group of children during this time. So we launched our online storytelling project, Mga Kwento ni Tito at Tita Doc, after permission was granted from Adarna House. Our storytelling videos are also uploaded in our YouTube channel. We had a fundraising drive and funds were donated to the Tabang Sabiko 2020 project. Our chapter was also able to help fund One House of Father Jerry Perez Project Salinong Build a House for 50,000 Project and Relief Goods through Dr. Charlie Guzman, Bangon Cagayan, and Tulong Aguila Relief Operations. Every November, different sea turtle species, including the Hawksbill, green turtle and olive ridley lay eggs on the shore of Simpukan. Simpukan was funded by the United States Agency for International Development from 2014 to 2016. Since its turnover, the project has been managed by the City Environment and Natural Resources Office in Puerto Princesa. CPSP joined Palawan Medical Society in its environmental awareness by donating materials for protecting the eggs and joining the turtle release. We support turtle conservation. Help us help turtles. We are still continuing our other projects like Hugis Escuela, The Doctor is In, and Club Food Advocacy with Bahatala Rehabilitation Center. Since August 2020, a total of 17 patients were referred and given free orthopedic and rehabilitation services. Update on our mental health advocacy, we already had one lecture from PMHA. Our members from different municipalities, in cooperation with their respective hospitals, had the following activities. In cooperation with Leoncio General Hospital, we gave out alcohol dispensers to different schools in Brooks Point. We had bloodletting activities with Sagrado General Hospital, and we had the worming and feeding program of malnourished children with Nara District Hospital. Last December, we had the Munting Paskuhan for street children with puso ng MMG, multivitamins, face masks, face shields, personal hygiene kits, and dental kits were also given at Barangay Apurawan. Lastly, here are pictures of CPSP members screening health workers for rest bakuna. And of course, our own pictures, Amostara, rest bakuna. That's all for CPSP Palawan Chapter. Thank you and stay safe everyone.